What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Memory Marina and I'm sitting here working on my daughter's, this is my oldest daughter's equipment here. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook and on our Instagram page, you will get to see a lot of videos and pictures of her actually diving. And you'll see this equipment here, it's just an old Sherwood BCD. Um, I've got her in a 30 cubic foot cylinder which actually causes quite a bit of controversy. I get a lot of comments on there asking about why is she using a 30 cubic foot? You know, she's so small. Why not put her in a 63 or 50? Why a 30 for a primary cylinder? And there's two main reasons. One, it is the most practical system for her based off the type of diving she does. She's only seven years old, guys. I only have her in a swimming pool, three to 10 foot deep, um, which I do not advocate to any parent out there, unless the parent, of course, is a dive instructor. Um, don't, don't get your child out there without proper training. Hopefully, as a dive instructor, I can properly train my own child. But number two, it fits her physical needs as well. Simply put, she's barely three foot tall, if even that. Uh, I believe the tank sometimes is even taller than her. But this is all that she can physically handle when she's on land there at the pool edge. So it works really great for her. It's practical, and of course it's safe. Um, but I want to kind of show you something real quick. The BCD that she wears, this old Sherwood BCD, um, cool little fun fact about it. In 1988, when I first started diving, this was my first BCD. It was my mom's. It was a hand-me-down from my mom. Uh, and cosmetically, it's faded out, but, you know, it still works. I've taken really good care of it over the years, and I feel very fortunate that I've been able to give it to my oldest daughter. And, of course, when my youngest daughter is old enough, hopefully it'll still be in good shape to give to her as well. Um, but if you take good care of your equipment, it's going to outlast you. But I, I just kind of wanted to throw that in there. It's a neat little thing. But the main point of this video, and the reason I'm shooting it today is, is I want to talk a little bit about your open water diver class. Um, and you need to be careful during your open water class when you're going to purchase gear that you make sure you get the right gear that's for you. If you ask your instructor or your local dive shop owner, hey, what's the best gear that I can buy? Understand their answers, even my answers alone to my customers are pretty biased based off what I like to wear and the style of equipment and even the manufacturer. A lot of you guys know that I love Mares and I've been with Mares for several years and I really do enjoy their gear. But you need to pick out the gear that is best suited for you. And there's two questions that you need to ask yourself. First of all, what fits my physical needs? And second of all, what is the most practical based off the type of diving that I'm going to be doing? And first of all, let me clear the air and go ahead and tell you, it is okay to own multiple sets of equipment. Even I own multiple sets of gear. I've got tech gear. I've got work gear. I've got open water gear. I've got spear fishing gear. I've got gear that I don't even wear. It's all based off what I need it for. And it's also based off what fits my physical needs. A lot, a lot of our tech viewers have asked, why do I go side mount versus back mounted doubles? And I'll tell you, I used to dive back mounted doubles all the time back in the day. And to you know, I just can't take it anymore. My back can't take it anymore. And I really enjoy side mount over the back mounted doubles. So it's more practical for me to wear that. And then I'll get questions all the time about, well, we notice that you're in a back plate and wing in your videos, but yet when you do your teaching videos, you're in a jacket. Well, once again, it's based off practicality. What works best for me? Uh, very recently, I had a student who, he's a heavier set gentleman, and he has a lot of difficulties because he's had shoulder trouble trying to get in and, in and out of his gear. And he really wanted to go down that back plate and wing system. Unfortunately, he just couldn't physically do it. So we had to put him in a jacket style because it fit his physical needs as well. And that's one of the things that you got to ask yourself, what fits my physical needs and what is most practical for me when I'm going to make a gear purchase. And understand it's okay. If you want to buy a back plate and wing and buy a jacket, that's perfectly okay. If you want to go that side mount route but still have your doubles in the background to wear whenever you need them, then that's okay as well. There's no magical set that works for every type of diving out there. The other night, I actually had one of our assistant instructor candidates in the water, and we was doing his uh, in-water teaching presentations, and he had his son there with him. And after the end of class, he started asking me, why do I wear certain gear once again when I teach, basically when I just dive for fun? And I kind of explained it the same way I did for you. I wear what's most appropriate for the type of diving that I'm going to be doing. And he said, you know, I think I want to get in the side mount, but, you know, I just don't want to spend that kind of money before I try it. And this leads me to the third step before you go to buy a gear, 
always ask to see if you can try before you buy it. He, I was very fortunate. I said, absolutely. Hey, I got it out in the truck. Let me bring it in and let you try it. And I put him in it and he really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I did catch it out of the corner of my eyes. He was trying out side mount. His son, who wears a jacket system, kept looking over at his dad's back plate and wing and said, hey, I want to try that. So, of course, we put his dad's back plate and wing on. We got it adjusted down and we let him try it. And I even took it a step further and I even let the son try side mount. And at the end of the night, we determined that the dad really likes side mount, but he, he's still on the fence. He's just not sure about it, but it helped him make that decision a little bit easier. And of course, the son has already made the decision that his dad will be buying him a back plate and wing here very soon because he liked that transition, but he didn't like the side mount. So his son doesn't have that thrive or that, that want to actually go into side mount. But being able to let them try it before they buy was very crucial to helping their decision-making process a lot easier. So guys, when you go in to buy new gear, there's several things that you need to think about. First of all, what fits your practical needs? Number two, what fits your physical needs? If you answer those two questions, making your gear choice will be a whole lot simpler. Guys, I hope you like this video. Hope it kind of opens your eyes on what you should be asking when you go to buy gear. And always remember, don't go off the biased opinion of your instructor or even the shop owner himself because that's what it is. It's a biased opinion as well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me two favors. Definitely hit that like button and definitely share it for me as well. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.